My name is Richard Salander and you're watching The Bible Revealed. Today I'm going to talk about Nehushtan. Uh, and I'm reading from the uh, second book, the, uh, the book of Second Kings, and from chapter 18 and 18 and verse 3. And he, and that is the Hezekiah the king, and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that David his father had done. He removed the high places, he broke the pillars, and cut down Asherah. Uh, that was a Phoenician goddess, and he broke into pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made, for until those days the people of Israel had made offerings to it. It was called Nehushtan. So here we can see that uh, the king Hezekiah was uh, breaking down the altars of, of false idols and false gods, and that pleased it was right in the eyes of the Lord. It pleased the Lord when Hezekiah the king did that. So, uh, but the interesting thing is the bronze serpent that Moses has made, and that suddenly they called it Nehusta. We know from the Bible stories that Moses made a bronze serpent in the wilderness. When the people were traveling through the, the Sinai desert in the wilderness, they suddenly got bitten by snakes and the venom from the snakes were killing them. Then God told Moses to make this bronze serpent on a pole, on a stick. Uh, and when people looked on that bronze serpent and that stick, they got healed. The, the bronze serpent on the stick is a shadow picture of Jesus Christ hanging on the cross, becoming the curse in our place. We know that the serpent, uh, the whole world was cursed because of the serpent from the, uh, the, the Eden and the paradise. The, when the, the serpent tricked Adam and Eve and they listened to him, they, the whole earth came under the curse. So when Jesus was crucified, he became the curse in our place so we can be blessed in him. So when he got sick or when he got punished, when he got beaten and stricken, we got healing from his wounds. Uh, by his stripes we are healed. So Jesus, or the bronze serpent, is a shadow picture of Jesus becoming our healing. And they looked upon that serpent, they looked upon uh, the shadow picture of, of Jesus Christ on the cross, and they got healed from it. That is what's got, uh, wonderful news. And how much more shouldn't we get healed today when we have the true Jesus to look upon and the, we know about the cross? Uh, that's so much more that, than they knew, but they still got healed. But what happened after that was this, they started to worship that uh, bronze serpent on that stick. They started to make an idol of it, a false god out of it. They, they, it says that they made offerings to it. So they brought offerings to this false god uh, that was from the beginning a blessing from God. Because God told Moses to make this bronze serpent. What can we learn from this story? I think even today in our Christian walk, uh, in our daily life, we can receive information from the Holy Spirit to, that guides us and helps us through a lot of things. But suddenly we can start to uh, idol, make an idol out of that method that th uh, the Holy Spirit gave you at one, uh, at one time. If you start to repeat that and make a method out of, it, out of it or a doctrine out of it, suddenly we have a false god. And there are so many doctrines, there are so many Christian theology that that's based on this kind of false doctrine or false god. It, it, maybe it was right at one time when, when God led you there and God helped you through something by giving you a certain information. But when you make a doctrine out of it, we will start to make our own false gods and we don't want that, don't we? <laughs> do we? So my message for today is be careful of, of Christian tradition, be careful of Christian doctrines or, and, and uh, theology because it can really stand in the way of your relationship with God and it can be a false god standing in the way. So. Break down all those false gods, uh, pray to God and ask the Lord to 
reveal to you if you have any false gods uh, and any hustans in your life and you can just remove them from yourself with a simple prayer. So that's my message for today. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Mm -hmm.